All right, here we are, ChatGPT. It's a real big buzz in the education sector. So um, why don't we ask ChatGPT what ChatGPT can do for us? Ah, oh, well, mean, look, five awesome things. It's going to save us some time. Let's dive in and have a look at this one here, how we can use this tool to help us with grading. Right, so first we ask ChatGPT to mark an essay. We flick over to the student essay and copy all of the text of the essay that we want ChatGP to analyze. Paste it into the chat box and let it run its course. So pretty useful comments already, but we want to actually use a pre-made rubric to mark that same essay. So let's go back to our document. We'll copy that mark rubric and make sure it is in a table format and then paste that back into the chatbot. Look at what a teacher gave it. 5E. Uh, let's try another one. So again, we go and copy the essay and copy the rubric that we want to use, pop them into the chatbot and see what comes out. All right, we look at the grades that the chat GPT gave it compared to a teacher, which was a 4M. Okay, but what about if we rerun the chatbot with the same essay and the same rubric, will it give us the same grade? So look at the same essay, totally different marks, fours and sixes, whereas before it was given threes and fives. So just no consistency. So let's try one more time. a little bit more reliable. Let's see if we can do it again. So again, same essay, different result. So yeah, sort of useful, but what if we just type in grade this essay with a rubric? What results do we get? So look, they're actually not bad. You know, some good advice for the writer, a general grade, some strengths and some feed forward of what to work on. So as you can see, not quite the holy grail of computerized marking. We ran the same essay through the same rubric and it gave us different results. But I, I think you'll agree that it does provide some useful feedback for students in their next steps in improving their writing. That's all for now.